remote code execution practical scenario coming up. In this exercise below, the attacker is unauthenticated to the web application and needs to find a remote code injection tag to run arbitrary commands on the server. OK, we need to find remote code injection. So the first thing we have, we have the name of this, uh, this service, APHP microblog remote code injection. That's what I'm actually going to start looking for on uh, Google. So APPHP microblog RCE April 20th 2014 let's see this is a Python exploit we might have to modify it let's view the raw I could just fire up parrot but I might do it from Windows let me just save this as a Python a apphp.py alright and then we'll have to probably modify something here so um, this is the URL of our apphp I guess uh, these this is the meat of the exploit let's see let's actually try so let's edit with idle we don't even have to modify anything because it's gonna look into the first uh, argument that's being provided in the command line so firing up a command prompt going to the desktop okay and then Python is this 2.7 or 3 point something it's 2.7 so it is 2.7 because the print statement um, isn't enclosed in um, parentheses. So pi minus 2.7 ap php, and then we have to prov we have to specify the the index.php. Does this have an index? Is this actually the index.php? it is so let's see okay let's run this website is not vulnerable so my um, my bit defender actually started the bit defender is probably gonna mess up things here fellas check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity there's a discount link in the description can I just ping this thing yeah do we have the version so it's 101 what did I specify here index.php what if I don't specify the index.php? I guess um, Bitdefender might interfere with it. Let's try from Parrot. And if that doesn't work either, then it's not uh, Bitdefender, my antivirus. Let me just w get this raw. CDTMP, MKDIR, EXPL, CD, EXPL, W get this, okay, move 3307 into app.py, clear, cat app.py, seems to be good, now Python app.py and this control shift V let's see of course so it was the freaking bit defender thing huh so remote code exec is working with the system submit your commands type exit to quit let's see present working directory var dub 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 ls minus a 
So yeah, we've got remote code execution. This was just a point and shoot exercise. The only thing that I did was to specify the second command line argument. So the first command line argument is the name of the app. And as we can see over here, uh, the second command line argument, which is taken through sysrv, so the first command line argument which is zero is the name of the app and the second command line argument is the name uh, is our target basically that's the only thing that I had to specify so it is able to fetch the information from base inc.php I guess uh, this exercise is actually complete the attacker is unauthenticated and needs to find a remote code injection attack to run arbitrary commands on the server. ls root, probably permission denied, ls, ls etc, limited permissions here, so cat etc ps swd, of course we probably cannot cat shadow, okay. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've got uh, remote command execution and we can just simply mark this so your task is to find and exploit this vulnerability mark this as complete 